Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see exploiting PHP deserialization with a pre-built gadget chain. But first, let's search PHP generic gadget chain on Google. And as the first results, we will get this GitHub repository made by various contributors, which it's that uh, PHP generic gadget chain is a library of unserialized payloads along with a tool to generate them from command line or programmatically. When encountering an unserialized of on a website, you don't have the code of, or simply you don't want to waste your time to find out a method to exploit them. You can use this repository with uh, various library that you can use. But let's focus on the lab and let's uh, read what we need to do to succeed on the lab. We need to delete the morale.txt file on the path uh, as the previous lab, which is the under uh, uh, backslash cara home backslash carlos backslash morale.txt. We need to uh, retrieve the cookie session. We can retrieve it with the, with accessing with the username winer and password peter through Brook Suite and the request that could fit us will, could be my account where there is inside the cookie session. Uh, this cookie session is different from the previous lab because it has inside the signature which is sig hmac sha1 and the token. The token as usual is the it's an object where inside there is different values. In this case, there is the username and the access token, I think. But what we need to do currently, we need to try to change the user in order to see what happened if we try to use a different cookie and what could be the response that the server could give us. So like, let's change the token and let's put the the modified one and as you can see if we send the request we will get an error uh, where there is the php fatal error uh, signature does not match session and uh, let's run it also in the on the browser and as you can see there is a, a clue that could uh, help us to succeed on the lab, which is the version that uh, the library version uh, who is uh, giving us an error. So let's save it into the notepad and let's try to figure it out how to find also the signature. Uh, we need to find the php info.file because usually in this file there is the secret key uh, stored so as we, you can see we can search it through the command that the comments that we can find through group suite and let's use this request and let's run it to have a better view let's bring this request to the browser so let's copy it in order to have a better reading experience and also to find out the secret key. As you can see, uh, we need to remove the cookie session to have the right request. So let's look for the secret key. Let's save it in the into the notepad because this secret key will allow us to uh, sing, sign the cookie session as the previous as the last steps to take to succeed on the lab now we need to git clone the repository in order to use this program to uh, insert some malicious codes through the library let's get into the folder with the command change directory and here as you can see there is the repository that we clone 
let's run the command php generic gadget chain dash l where it will enumerate all the library that we could use but let's grab the the one that interests us the most so it's symphony and in this case we can see that there is various version of it but the one that uh, interests us the most is the symphony rce4 with this one we will uh, create this object this malicious object to perform some action the action that we need to perform is the set command and the remove om carlos morale.txt this will be the command that will be executed through these libraries let's copy it and this will be the second parameter that we need to pass to the the program the first one need to be the library in this case we can copy it from the previous command that we already launched now we run the command and as you can see this is the object that we will insert into the cookie session but we need this object to be encoded in base64 so let's pipe it and let's use the command base64 as you can see if we don't put the option dash w0 the cookie session will not be wrapped and so uh, we need to use it in order to remove the backslash the return character and the new space character so let's save the gadget chain payload into the notepad therefore right now we have all the 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 things that could allow us to succeed on the lab but la last step we need to use a script in php in order to sign the cookie session and to sign it we can use the previous secret key that we already retrieved before from the file configuration file of php so let's use vim to create these scripts we will call it script sign sha1.php as first we need to place into the the file the reference to allow the compiler to be aware that is the php language to be compiled so let's uh, place the payload which is the previous payload that we have generated from the command php generic gadget chain after this we need to insert another variable which is the secret key this secret key will be used to sign the cookie session and now let's uh, create the cookie to create it we need to use the function url encode and also inside this function we need to place the, the token and after the token we need to place also the signature which will be called sig underscore hmac underscore sha1 and also the uh, ash underscore hmac function with uh, the first parameter which indicates the algorithm to use and also the variable payload and the variable secret key i think for now we are we we are ready to use this command one thing that we need to do is to change the permission in order to be executed uh, so we need to use the command change bond 750 and also we need to use the php to run the, the script but i forgot to place the system out which in php is echo and the variable so if now we rerun the command we will get the cookie session finally and we can copy it and place it into the browser in order to perform the attack
Now if we reload the page, we will solve the lab. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to cover all the topics of these labs. I think it remains just uh, three of them. See you in the future.